thank you very much Mrs H. Happy Sunday to you, welcome to the shave, welcome to the bathroom and uh, hope you've had a good week and a uh, good weekend, yeah, hopefully, everything's going well for you. Um, a razor I've uh, used today, sent ooh, about three years ago, uh, if any of you remember this, I had a nice email, um, Apollo Light, Smart Helix Apollo Light, beautiful wooden box with the tongue and groove joints and you can see them are genuine joints it's not a um, full stainless steel look at that comes with this box here um, card. lifetime guarantee and the razor sits in there that's locked into position and if you lift that up it comes out so you put the razor that holds the razor in, you see. And uh, the reason I'm using this is I had a nice email uh, from this company to say they're based in uh, Ukraine, if you remember. And due to the war happening there with uh, Russia and Ukraine, they had to cease trading um, for safety. And they had to, I think they've moved now to a safe location. And they were just uh, sort of letting us know uh, that they're okay, thankfully, and they're back trading. And they've got, an, I think it's a new website, uh, Patreon page, Patreon or Patreon, however you say. And the thing, this is the razor they sent me uh, about three years ago. The Apollo Light, beautifully made, full stainless steel, comes on this. If you notice, I think you can see there's a gap. Let's just look at this stand here. Smart Helix. That rubber there sits and it doesn't move off your countertop. Uh, there's a slight bevel at the base of that and that's there to hold this. You know when you've used this razor it might be a bit moist. Just to hold it with a slight gap for it to sort of aerate around it when it's drying. Beautifully um, little detailed. And this is the razor and it comes, it's got two base plates that's the handle, beautiful knurling, nicely shaped. And there is a little washer, you have to be careful here that you don't have the sink. Make sure your sink is closed when you take these off because if it comes on your hand, you will see it again. And that's that little, little washer there. And the, that's the head plate, top. Lovely razor. And it comes with two base plates, as I say, with two aggressions. Uh, one with this one line or one mark here, that's the smoother, less aggressive. And the two is the slightly more aggressive. So we'll go with that one today. I think I'll use that Persona, you know, that uh, Persona I used in the last shave. If I can get hold of it. Just bear with me. There we go. Make sure I put that uh, back on there. So we'll use that blade. I'll be just using one camera today, just to change it up because I've been doing the lower camera. I don't want to just to keep things different, you know. So um, change things up, and uh, so that's the the plate we're using. That was on there. Like so. Then we'll have our little rubber washer. I don't usually put these on. I usually leave them off, but uh, it's on there, so it's obviously meant to be on there. So, uh, and it's, it saves, uh, I suppose it saves, if you use this a lot, it saves you scratching the base plate or something. Beautiful. That's it. Oh, there's a very slight overhang with it. You can hardly see it. Very, very, very slight. And there we go. Quite a heavy weight. That's that. Soap, Prorasso, wood and spice shaving cream. It's in this. As I said before, it's, it, I think it's, it's meant for professional barber shops where this would fit inside a holder. 
and the barber would just sort of come then and take his cream out and um, commence to do the shave. Yeah, so that's the, and I'm using that for a reason, we'll come to that in a minute. That's in my bowl there. And I'm using the Paul H Films brush, synthetic, there. And uh, we'll start lathering up. Yeah, so um, if you're watching this, thank you for sending the email. Um, and firstly, glad you're safe. And uh, in a new location and uh, trading again. And I think um, he was saying in the email he's got some new designs or a new razor in the in the making sort of thing. So that's nice. So glad you're okay. God, it makes you think how lucky we are, doesn't it? Yeah. This is so easy to lather up. Gorgeous scent. Very well uh, named Wooden Spice. Very nice. And you know Prorasso is going to be good anyway, so good creams and soaps. Easy enough. And there's no there's no knurling in this bowl. This is a lot of people say, where do you get that bowl from? It's just an old bowl I started. This is how I started with a lather bowl. Um, being Welsh, you see, too mean to buy. <laughs> and it was a bowl in the cupboard that wasn't being used. Um, an old dessert bowl or something. And I thought, oh, I'll use that. And um, it's it's in the picture on my um, channel, isn't it? Paul H Films channel picture. You'll see it on its own. <laughs> there we go, that's good enough. That's lovely, yeah. Quite happy with that. So we'll wet this face on this Sunday. How is your weekend going? How's the, how's the weather where you are? How's life? How's tricks, as they say? <laughs> ah. Right. Let's lather up. Very good morning to you all. Mm. Yeah, the reason I'm using this soap today is because if any of you know Don from the Conversational Shaving channel on YouTube, usually features his cat Sarge, and um, it was through him actually I found this cream. Uh, in this sort of uh, sort of bag, it looks like something like a drip bag, doesn't it? In the hospital, somebody you know, somebody walking around with it. <laughs> and um, it was through him I bought this, and I loved it. Um, and he sent me very kindly. He emailed me or messaged me last year, uh, at late end I think the last year, and he said, "I'll send you this in the new year." And he did. So thank you, Don, if you're watching. Much much appreciated. It's the the uh, after, wooden spice aftershave balm to match the because I didn't have it, so I much appreciate that. Don, thank you, and say thanks to Sarge. Sarge is the cat, by the way, in case you think he's not a police officer. Right, can't see that. I'm gonna have to. This thing's sticking. So here we go, we're using the, it's stainless, yeah, stainless steel, the Apollo Light uh, Smart Helix razor. Very, very well presented and made. And we're using the two mark plate, which is the more aggressive of the two. So here we go, Persona Red, second use. Sunday shave. Oh, that's lovely, yeah. Feel the quality. Oh, 
Oh, there's no. Yeah, and I hope uh, any sort of shavers out there, be it shaving channels, viewers of shaves, um, any businesses, brush makers, razor makers in uh, Ukraine or Russia, I hope you're okay. You're doing okay. Yeah. Wow, some whiskers. <laughs> Better rinse them down with. I always, always do that because uh, I said before. I remember my father sometimes didn't rinse them properly down, and it used to infuriate my mother. Yeah, funny how little things you remember. That was a lovely first pass, it's a lovely scent. Wood and spice. And all things nice. So what sort of a day have you got planned today if you uh, if you're watching this in the morning? Again, if you're working, many thanks for your service in whatever field you work in. That's a question. Do you have a... Mind you, I suppose you don't have a... Oh, some do. Do you have a chance for a shave before work? Or do you tend to do it the night before? More relaxed, maybe? Or maybe you're a DE shaver on the weekends, if you're off. And maybe a cartridge razor, or electric even, a shaver in a week, for convenience, maybe. Cross the growth, really nice. I think Kevy Shaves did a video uh, last, in December last year. Guy sounds so far back, doesn't it? It's only last month. So they must have let him know as well then. Yeah, that's a lovely. You can actually feel the. When you use it, you can actually feel the quality, if that makes sense. What have we got planned? Um, oh, Sunday lunch, of course. Sunday roast. I'm doing um, lamb chops. Lovely. And then roast potatoes. I've uh, in dripping, beef dripping. Usually use either duck fat or goose fat, but I haven't got any of that, so it'll be beef dripping. Nice and crispy and salted. So roast lamb chops, roast potatoes, marrow fat peas, broccoli, and last centers of gravy. Lots of gravy. Oh, and a, and a serving of uh, mint sauce on the lamb. Third application. Mm. This is lovely. Needless to say, Good quality cream, beautiful scent, easy to lather, good slickness. Um, for me personally, I wouldn't class that number two plate as an aggressive razor, but you can. it has a bite to it. Um, the number one mark is a smoother one, milder, but this just gives it an edge. For me, this is in this with this blade, and it feels very, very comfortable. 
and um, very precise if that makes sense so here we go against the growth What's your shave of the day, please? A meal. I've said it before, sometimes when I'm reading your comments on your food or whatever, and uh, despite getting hungry, <laughs> um, I sometimes get some inspiration. And I think, oh, I'd like to do that. I'll tell you what I thought. Some chicken wings, a uh, box of chicken wings in um, a store over here called Morrison's. Good store Morrison's, especially for meat and selection and cost. Um, chicken wings for a pound, one pound in money. And I looked first, I thought they must be near in there, out of date, sort of. But no, they've, they've got uh, seven days. So um, I'm going to season them in uh, a chipotle hot chilli powder, which I found there. Um, and it's uh, quite a smoky, hot but smoky flavour, lovely. So I'll put some of that on. I've got some other... Um, Another mix, or oh, extra hot Cajun, Cajun season seasoning. I haven't seen that before, so I'm trying that. And I'll sprinkle, sprinkle them all on these wings, salt, pepper, and then leave them overnight. And then bring them up to. Listen to me. <laughs> Not a cooking channel, Paul. Bring them up to room temperature and in the uh, in the oven. Sometimes when I'm doing that, I do coat the chicken in a bit of oil, just and then everything sticks to it, and it's good, you know, when it's cooking. Um, and then you have a nice crispy skin with a lovely moist meat. Never mind moist meat. Three, two, one, pick up time, baby. Yeah. This is lovely. All right. I was going to change the plate halfway through the shade, but I'm enjoying this. This one so much. Look at that, beautiful. Uh, enjoying this so much, I've, I've kept it on this one. Yeah, so I'll leave a link in the bottom of this video underneath, as I usually do if I can. Um, Go check their website out. They might have some information on the what they're up to now and what pl what the plans are next for the next maybe razor, whatever. But I can tell you this: the their presentation delivery quality is excellent. That's lovely, just a bit here, I think. That's lovely. We'll have a cold water rinse. Oh, that's lovely. 
add some cooling and soothing. Nice array of colours again. make us happy don't they right so that's what we look like quite happy with that you collect the switch hazel oh, hang on. Give it a minute. i'm sure somebody's filling this as i use it Same before with the chicken wings there. Uh, I like to try different sort of seasonings and spicy things on them to, you know, um, to eat. But the good thing with the chicken, you can have some hot, but you can have them cold, can you? Leave them in the fridge. And there's a snack. But you feel peckish. Right, so I thought I'd use the old, um, this is Marks and Spencer's, um, this is called Wood Spice Gentleman Aftershave. And again, they do a, is it a green one? Yeah, green one, I haven't got that yet. And I only remember when I use this. Oh, it's a lovely match, actually, as well. Oh, that is nice, Dad. That is lovely. And then we're going to use this uh, Prorasso. Um, Wood, wooden spice aftershave balm as i say thank you dom i'll put a link to dom's channel in the description and check him out he's a big um collector well a big, but he collects vintage ra uh, radios that's another passion of his and sometimes he i think he features them in his thumbnail sometimes uh, or one of them he does have a chat about them sometimes. Vintage ra radios and... He has little chats while he shaves about different things. Conversational shave, is he? Anyway, many thanks, Tom. So, that's it. We've used the Smart Helix Apollo Light Full Stainless Steel Razor. Um, it's a three-piece razor when it's in use, but it comes as a four-piece, well, five-piece if you include the base. Uh, the mild base plate and the one I used here, the number two, which is a bit more aggressive. Um, we use the Persona Red, second use, beautiful blade for me. Prorasso Wooden Spice Shaving Cream. Paul H. Films DS Cosmetic Brush, 2022. Red Bowl from the Kitchen. Welsh water from the tap, uh, eucalyptus witch hazel, which I made myself, Marks and Spencer's wood spice aftershave, and the Prorasso wood, wooden, uh, wooden spice, too many wooden spice, uh, aftershave balm, and that is it, lovely, really. I thought I'd weep for them, I'm sure I've opened the, what did I do on last week? Anyway, no, it's nothing to worry about. So that's it. So if you're having a shave, have a good one. Um, have a great weekend. Uh, take care of yourselves and your friends and family. And uh, yeah, thanks for your company again. Much appreciated. So have a lovely rest of the day. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. So take care of yourselves. And bye-bye.